Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As you can probably tell by my uh, equestrian companion here, I am currently in the most current uh, Minecraft uh, snapshot. And I was experimenting with this this morning because I kind of had an idea for a, um, a custom game map that I wanted to do. And so I was just trying out some different ideas. And uh, I'm going to get into those in a second, but for right now, I actually had a uh, a bug report that I wanted to submit, and so I thought I would go ahead and start this episode uh, by doing that. I did check the bug tracker, and it had not been submitted as of yet, as far as I can tell. By the way, is it just me, or is it... I guess it's the camera view, but yeah, that horse looks awfully small. Uh, compared to my Minecraft character, <laughs> it looks like a, like a, you know, like a dwarf horse or a dwarf pony or something like that. But anyways, um, so let's swap back into our normal game mode, enable this. So the bug that I found is, uh, pretty simple. Uh, essentially what I was trying to do is, um, I wanted to create a, uh, map in which, uh, there, you know, that players could race against each other, and I had an idea for this, uh, you know, using obstacles and stuff, but I kind of want to do it uh, Le Mans style, and I'll talk about this in a second. But I was also checking to see if be beacons affected the horses. And so I wanted to do the horse damage, and then see if it uh, healed faster when it got close to a beacon. So I set up some lava for it to bump into, and then I was going to have it go through the water over here. And uh, when you go into water, up to uh, two blocks deep, you stay on the horse. But at three blocks deep, uh, you come off. Now, I really like this horse because it jumps really high. So I, uh, I wanted to keep this one, so I didn't want to die. So I tried getting back on it, and you can't. And I hit it out like that. Now, you may be thinking, okay, well, that's not all that different. But... Now, I can't place blocks, and you may be wondering, why can you not place blocks? And apparently, when you try to mount a horse under the water, it keeps you in the horse uh, mode. Uh, it, this is a very odd uh, uh, <laughs> looking uh, visual. It looks like I'm like, uh, you know, a, uh, I guess, a... Um, it looks like I've had an accident on a horse, and now I'm forced to use my hands to move around on the ground. Uh, yeah, so uh, this would probably definitely uh, be a bug. Uh, and so I wanted to go ahead and bring it to uh, Mojang's attention uh, so that they could uh, potentially fix it. Oddly enough, um, it does seem like the uh, beacon effects do take uh, effect. It's like the game... It's like I know it knows that I'm uh, dismounted, but let's see. And as you can see, I can't mount the horse again. It's very odd. And then if I uh, disconnect or save and quit title, because this is a single player world, and reconnect, you'll see it puts me back in the water. It, it just seems like uh, the game just kind of loses sync um, after you try to mount a horse in the water. So, uh, definitely something that they will want to take a uh, look at. Um, so, moving on, uh, I had a lot of different ideas for, like, some different games. Now, one thing that kind of, I guess, bothers me about this is, like, trying to shoot arrows, because I was thinking you could do it kind of, like, do different modes, and one would be kind of like a, a Road Rash-style mode. And as you can see, the arrows can't actually fire off the horse. And, in fact, I'm kind of curious if... Um, oh, wrong game mode. There we go. It doesn't seem like the arrows do any damage, but, uh, like even angling it like this, there we go. It actually did launch, but if you're firing straight ahead, uh, it can be a little bit difficult. I think maybe at this, yeah, you can probably hit people from there. I was just thinking it would be really cool for PvP combat to have horses involved, where that way you're kind of having to uh, control something else. Like, I really wish, almost, that you could use, uh, like, uh, WASD to control where the horse goes, 
and then you could have free look so that you could rotate left and right uh, to aim independently of the horse. Uh, that would be really, really, really cool uh, and would definitely make uh, horse uh, combat a little bit easier to do, um, I think. Uh, as it is, I because what I wanted to do was set up like a target course where people could like try to... Uh, do a race and uh, shoot at targets at the same time, and then it's like your cumulative score uh, would be based on um, the accuracy and your speed. Uh, the other thing, uh, as I think, uh, I watched Seth Bleeding's video on this subject, and let's, uh, is it time set zero, I think is the command? Yes, I got it. Woohoo! Uh, I have noticed there are differences in the speeds of the horse as well as how high they jump. Um, some horses can make it over uh, fences, others can't, it seems, which is kind of cool. Uh, for a map, I kind of wonder if you can generate specific horses. Uh, because what I wanted to do is, uh, for the horses, is basically do it Le Mans style where you start out and then, not a donkey, I don't want a donkey. <laughs> That would be a bad, uh, oh, well, it would help if my game mode was, uh, set to the right one. Oh, bah. There we go. Uh, let's see. Not there. Miscellaneous. There we go. And the horse are these. Uh, what I kind of had thought would be cool is no, not you. There we go. Is like a... There we go. Um, is if you could, like at the beginning of the race, you had to tame the for horse first. It seems like uh, the faster the horse is, uh, the longer time, it, it takes a little bit longer to tame. Uh, that seems to be the case. Uh, I haven't verified that as of yet. Is this a mule? Why is this horse so slow? Is that a mule? Oh, well, I'm not in control of it because I don't have a saddle on it. I'm still getting used to this. I've only been playing with it for an hour. Well, probably not even that long, but... And it, it definitely seems like the... Oh, this is a fast horse. Uh, It definitely seems like the uh, higher the horse jumps, the... Uh, the longer you have to hold down the jump key ahead of time. Uh, which I thought would be cool, too, for something like this, where uh, you have, like, a half slab before a fence, and then you could uh, try to time it so that you uh, hit the uh, half slab, and you uh, try to time, basically, your jump so that uh, you hit the half slab and jump at the right time, and it can really cause a, a pretty good variance in the amount of uh, distance jumped, um, as you can see. So I thought you could do kind of like how they did with the uh, TNT Olympics, where uh, they had different uh, long jump links. Um, oh, that one seemed about the same. But it could be pretty cool to, to try this out. Uh, the other thought I had was... Um, and part of the reason I was looking at the bows, it, and this is something I'm going to need other people to test out with, uh, but I thought it would be cool to do like a almost a PvP, but where you had teams and one person rode the horse, and then you had like stands. Uh, I was going to model this, uh, do kind of a model of Churchill Downs, which is where they do the Kentucky Derby. Um, I really, ooh, that was, <laughs> didn't realize I could get out of that. Oh, I completely mistimed that one though. Uh, but yeah, I kind of wish, uh, kind of thought it would be cool if you could do like something like, uh, Churchill Downs, uh, where people would run a race and it would, um, basically log, uh, uh, whenever you completed a lap or like a portion of the lap and then you could have the other team like firing, trying to, to kill the horse or the person, uh, riding it. And then it could be like, you could have one person racing for each team and the other people, uh, trying to kill the horse or do different things to disrupt uh, the horse uh, from uh, being able to complete the race or to slow it down. 
I, I haven't looked at all the options, but I, I kind of thought that would be a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool idea. And then, you know, it's like whoever finishes like so many laps first uh, wins. So I, I definitely was uh, looking at different ideas. Obviously, some sort of like uh, equestrian jumping course would be cool. But yeah, that's why the half slab is there. It's really hard to get over those fences and carry your momentum. Uh, you can do it sometimes, uh, but it's definitely a timing thing. And what's kind of cool from a, a race standpoint is that uh, the timing varies completely from horse to horse based on its... Oh, I missed that one. Uh, its particular jump uh, height. So that's why I was... Okay, that one got pretty far. But uh, that's why I did it with the half slab, because it does seem to like... Oh, I missed that one. And you can see I got a really short uh, jump. But anyways, uh, these were just some ideas I had. I really wish that the... Uh, actually, let me try this real quickly on camera. So, uh, game mode zero. Oh, this horse actually has pretty good... Uh... Oh, 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 no, get out of the lava. Get out of... Oh, bah. I'm going to need another horse. Uh, game mode one. Yep, yeah, you'll work. No, I don't want to shoot you. Uh. Oh. No, do not go towards the lava. Can I not do this with a block in my hand? Huh. Oh, that's going to go bad. Poor horsey. Of course. All right, well, let me try my good horse. Um, I like my horse. What can I tell you? You get kind of connected to these things. Uh, it's so much better than a dog. It doesn't bark. Uh, but you can see this one doesn't have much in the terms of health. Um, so let's see if I can just gra graze this. It definitely doesn't seem to want to go... Oh, there we go. Oh, and now I'm in the... Darn it. Ah. Uh... Can I actually get back on the horse now? Yes. Okay. So I got it down to two hearts. Let's see. Does this work? Well, it recovered one a half a heart, but that may be its natural regen time. Hmm. Uh, let's try using hay. Um. Oh. Uh. Let me get off the horse. Let me put me in a different game mode. Uh, one. There we go. And don't go near the lava horse. They actually pre... I thought it was hay. Or, oh, is it wheat? It's hay bales for... That's what it is. Oh, can I not do this while I'm in... You can tell this is a really early... Uh, no, do not go towards the lava... Uh, version of this. Okay, well, now it's back up to full health. So, yeah, I guess I thought you could do it where... Uh, like, where if the horse was getting shot, you could do different things to try and, um, I guess, like, there would be different areas where you could go that were safe, where you could maybe uh, regen health, but it would slow you down. I don't know. It, it would be a pretty interesting uh, dynamic, I think. Um, 
And then obviously, like, timing your um, jumps becomes hugely important because uh, you don't want to have to... Uh, to have to stop or go back uh in fact to keep the race going quickly i'd probably put areas uh so i'm in the wrong game mode again i'd probably put areas like this to the side where people could instead of having to jump over it could just uh go around but it would take uh, obviously longer than just jumping um so therefore you wouldn't have to like back up and take a, a jump again um i think it could be interesting anyways i'm more or less just uh horsing around sorry couldn't resist so obvious uh but uh anyways i just wanted to submit that uh you can't do that uh so it had to be here could it make it there yeah, the horses are kind of buggy, but it's it's such a cool thing, though, still. Like, I don't usually get, like, all that excited about snapshots, but this one, like, I just look at the possibilities, and it's just really cool. Okay, yeah, I had to make this... It seems like the horses are, like, more than a block wide, so you'd have to, like, do something... like this and I think he can make it through now um, let us see horse what are you taking damage from are you stuck in an iron block uh, horse is no is that not wide enough either yeah no I'm not trying to pump to you horse sorry I apologize I killed your foal, and now I'm, like, killing you. I'm such a cruel, cruel man. PETA's going to be all over me. Um, come back here, horse. Yeah, like that. That would be perfect, because that takes longer to do, but you can still get around it if you screw up the jump. So that would be pretty cool. Um, like I said, it's just, uh, I'm still just kind of getting my basic ideas together. Uh for what I want to do, but I really think this adds so many more options. I really hope that they get the, uh, actually that's not bad being able to fire like that. I guess if you were behind, um, see the problem is, is it, the, the front runner then becomes like a, a target the whole time because he can't fire back. Hmm. I'll definitely have to consider this though. It's so cool. Like, I, I so, still want to be able to, like, like run one way and aim another way. But, anyways, I guess I'm just uh, too tied to, like, first-person shooters where that's an option. But, anyways, uh, <laughs> I will actually quit rambling now. Uh, so, this is, once again, Andrew and Bryce. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, it was entertaining, interesting, educational, etc. Telling you to have a good day and good gaming. Bye!